<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Today is the start of week 10 of me being here in the classroom um, with a third grade classroom, and I absolutely love it. Today is April 16th, so we are like halfway through the month, and school ends at the end of May. So, sorry, my eyelash cut into my mouth. So we're getting there close to the end. And this weekend I had a pretty productive and relaxing weekend. I ended up taking a really long nap on Saturday. Didn't mean to, but I did, and that's okay. Um, yesterday I finished up part three of my homework or my test for my observations. So I only have one more part left to do. And I'm planning on getting half of it done this weekend and then the next next weekend. And possibly all of it this weekend. I don't know because it is... I'm taking a four-day weekend. Um, this Friday, my son has a Pinewood Derby uh, race thing. And on Monday, I have to go to, into Salt Lake for the interview for my school. So, I'm taking a four-day weekend. So, I might get it all done and just submit it. We'll see what happens. Because I like to spend a lot of my time relaxing on the weekend and some of it doing homework. I also started lesson planning for my two week unit, which ended up being more like two weeks and three days. Um, but the last week is mostly me doing like conferencing with the students and really evaluating their writing and giving them like one-on-one -on -one help and stuff like that as they're writing throughout the week. So that's kind of where we're at with that. So. But I'm excited to be back today. I'm excited to just be here. This place makes me happy. Like, I can't say it enough. And I know it gets really annoying. That I cannot wait till I graduate. And I really hope I get a job here at this school. Like, this is my happy place right now. And I absolutely love it. And like I said, I am under no illusions that there are going to be hard days as a teacher. But when the good outweighs the bad and it just makes you happy to be with the kids and stuff, I can't wait. I really just can't wait. So I'm going to head in and hopefully I will spend like five minutes of just talking about what we did in the car before I drive home because I kind of like that better because it makes for shorter videos. Um, also, this past week I posted a video about practicing like taking the praxis tests so if you guys are interested in it please watch that video um i gave some just pointers on how i studied and how i passed all but one of my praxis tests the first time around so go ahead and watch that and i will see you guys later bye well that was an adventure <laughs> i just tried to like start the vlog while walking out to the car and it's so windy so windy. So I'm going to just take a couple minutes here in the car to kind of go over the day. Um, so it was a good day. I spoke with my cooperative teacher again today. Told her my layout for my two week lesson plan. Gave her her book back um, so that she can have it. Um, I didn't want to keep it too long because she still might be using it for her class. So I went ahead and did that. She was cool with everything I'm going to do. Um, she gave me some information about some changes that might be going on in her classroom next year, which she's not looking forward to. If it is the case, we're hoping that it's not, um, so that I can have, like, a general education. But it's, it's all part of just being flexible and learning how to be flexible and stuff like that. So, it's going to be good. And more details on that to come um, when I know more, more details on what might be going on with that classroom. So, beginning of the day, it was pretty basic. They, what did they do at first thing this morning? Just kind of talked. Today's our first stage, right? First stage test. They're taking their writing test today. So the teacher's trying to just kind of take it easy today. So they did just... Um, they talked in the morning, they, uh, did, they introduced the topic, 
for this week's reading and then they we did reading group reading group was fun it's always fun um I had a nice little talk with my group it wasn't that they were being disruptive or anything like that just some of the girls always feel like they're getting picked on and so I had a talk with them just about being nice um and owning up to the fact if you're not nice and respecting how other if somebody feels like you're not being nice to them respecting that feeling and just being like hey I'll try harder kind of a thing to try to see it through the other person's eyes instead of getting all defensive and making things worse kind of a thing so we had that little discussion in our reading group and then they started scouring the book for swear words which had been blacked out we're reading Shiloh and I just <laughs> which then I found out that like a couple of the kids already read Shiloh in reading group this year and so it'll be fun it's gonna be fine I, I don't know what to do anymore I don't know what to do um we're gonna get through reading group we only have a few weeks left of school like six weeks left of school so we'll be fine we'll get through it um, then recess came and I was administ administering some spelling tests for kids that were absent last week and then they came in and they took a spelling pretest because they're not going to have time to do it this afternoon because of the sage writing test and then they were talking about the writing test um, when I left and kind of what was going to go on with that. It's the last hour of school today and then she was going to read Harry Potter to them. Just like I said, she's trying to take it really easy so that their brains aren't, like, worn out and tired by the end of the day. So, that's what's going on there. So, that was today. It was a good day. And so, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to get home. Like I said, I'm hoping that this week is kind of a brief brief vlog. Um, this week, so be, by the time you see this, this will already have gone up. Oh my goodness, like, it's shaking my car. Um, I did a video on my eyelashes, which I'm going to put that up this week. Like I said, that'll be up by the time this is up. I'm going, trying to figure out what I'm going to do next week for my midweek vlog, like my sit down. Um, so I'll figure that out, but we'll get it all taken care of. But I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Morning. Today is April 17th. It is a Tuesday and it snowed last night. Not very much, but it is like ice and snow sticking to the ground and on cars and stuff like that, which it's not supposed to happen in the middle of April. It's not, but it did. We'll go through it. That's probably why like my sinuses aren't able to like clear out or anything because like this weather keeps not deciding what it actually wants to do but I'm here at the school I'm about ready to go in and I just kind of wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys something about not teacher related so I'm considering getting this program called body boss because I'm not gonna lie I am overweight like you can tell I'm overweight and I felt very lost like I I work for a gym at their daycare so I can get a free gym membership but one I don't have time to actually go to the gym and I know people could say you know then make time for me to literally make time to go to the gym nowadays I would have to be up at five o'clock in the morning and leaving my house by 5 30 so that I can go to the gym and be home in time to still like get ready and be with my kids in the morning and when I don't go to bed until close to midnight because I don't get off of work until 11 o'clock or later, like I can't run on five hours of sleep. I know that's just me. I know I cannot run on five hours of sleep. I have to have at least seven hours of sleep for me to function the next day. So it's just not in the works for me right now to be able to actually go to the gym and use my membership. I'm hoping that in the summertime that does change. I'm hoping to be able to utilize the gym and actually uh, utilize the kids club and bring my kids there to play while I'm actually working out. So 
in comes this body boss program so it's like a booklet that like actually gives you a workout like it show tells you what to do and it's like an actual 12 week workout plan plus a four week pre workout plan which I, I, I'll be taking them up on that and so you do that and it also comes with a nutrition guide with meals already planned out for you you have to actually go get the stuff to make the meals but I really feel like it'll help me learn um, just better ways to do things because honestly I'm not comfortable in my skin I'm not comfortable with the way I look um, I put on a good show most of the time but I'm not comfortable and it's not saying that I'm not that I want to be like super super skinny or anything like that if this is more along the lines of my mother was overweight and I really believe part of her problems as she got older and why she got so sick is because she was overweight and she just couldn't lose the weight she did try for a while and then she just kind of gave up and I don't want to fall into that trap I want to be here as long as I can for my kids and so I need to change something and I love I, I love who I am I don't necessarily love how I look but you know that's okay a lot of people might get on me for that too um, but it's okay to not like how you look like I know there's a lot of people that say love who you are love the body you have that's great but if you don't like like it make a change and that's what I need to do and so I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna get it I went through my Amazon cart and I got rid of a lot of books and stuff like that so that I would have the funds to actually purchase it this weekend um, so that I can get it and get started and then I might even like invite some people in my neighborhood to do it with me in the mornings because um, it's like an hour workout in the mornings and only like three days a week um, the other two days you do your like own thing like you do a light exercise and then cardio and so I might like I'll figure out a way to make that work but I think that's what I'm going to end up doing and I will probably end up bringing you guys on that journey with me and just because it kind of keeps me accountable and like I said this is not teacher related other than the fact that I just want to be healthy and I want to show my kids and my students that you can get healthy and you can take care of yourself and I was on my way here I was thinking I'm like you know teachers it's great that I'm doing this so that you guys can see the observation or at least hear me talk about it. Can't actually, I don't won't bring you into the actual classroom with me. I might do that with when I actually become a teacher. Um, but we have other interests too and we have a life outside of the school and maybe part of that life is fitness and trying your best to get fit and to just have more energy and feel healthy and I don't feel any of that I feel very lethargic a lot of the times and so I just I want to be better I want to be better for my kids so I can be more active with my kids I want to be better so I can be more active in my classroom and not feel like I want to sit down all the time like I just want to be better and so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get better and I'm not saying that I'm like I said I'm not saying I'm going to get super super skinny in this process what I'm saying is that I'm going to get more energy and I'm going to feel better about myself and hopefully, yes, I do lose some weight um, so that I can feel more comfortable in the skin that I am in. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I will talk to you guys after and let you know how the day went and what we did. I'm excited to find out how they did on their writing sage test yesterday um, or at least how they feel they did and I will talk to you guys later. <sighs> It is after school, it is windy, and it is cold outside. <sighs> um, this is going to be really brief because I did one thing today. Well, two things, I guess. I had bus duty this morning, so I did go out and do bus duty. Um, it was cold. <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> but I did it. And then they started their sage testing yesterday. So they had their writing sage test yesterday. And a few of the students did not finish. So I went ahead and took those students back in and I sat with them the entire time that I was there um, working on the stage test and there's still three that did not finish. 
Um, so I'll have to go back in tomorrow and sit with them until they are done with that Sage test. So that's what I did today. And then the last 15 minutes of the day, I just kind of walked around the classroom because they were doing a worksheet where I couldn't help them because it's like a practice Sage test thing. So I was just walking around, not able to help or anything like that. Just walking around. And that was my day. So it was a pretty, pretty simple day. Um, but it was a big help for the teacher. Like, for me to be able to go in and sit with the students while they were taking the test and kind of doing that. The actual, the um, technology teacher, the computer teacher is the one that administers the test. But it's always good to have somebody else there. So, I'll be doing the same thing pretty much tomorrow, but I'm gonna go home now, I'm gonna take my son to speech therapy, um, and I'm going to just relax, because I'm tired, and I just wanna relax. And I'm hungry, so I wanna eat something. So, I will talk to you guys later, bye. Good morning, everyone. It is now April 18th, and I am here at the school waiting to go in. I'm gonna try to make this brief so I don't get um, tempted to complain. Uh, it was a rough day at work yes yeah, last night again wanted to quit almost did um, but I'm gonna work through it it's just it's really nice knowing that I can come to the school every morning and it'll kind of bring me out of that temporarily before I have to go back to work so today is probably gonna be a lot like it was yesterday with me sitting in the computer lab with some students a couple students who are working on their sage test um, I did bring some stuff to wrap books and contact paper, so I'm hoping to get that done before school. But it's probably going to be just a pretty simple, simple day for me, just helping out where I can. Um, like I said, I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I get to do this every day, at least four days a week, to kind of balance out what little can be balanced out with what's going on with my job. So. I did ask my husband last night to find another job to work nights somewhere so that he works two jobs and I hated doing that I didn't want to do that but I don't know how much longer I can last I'm trying to wait until the schedule changes see if my supervisor changes because I think my supervisor is like half the problem right now um, which it's only her I've only been with her for like two days officially like because she was on vacation the first two weeks so we'll see how it goes but I will talk to you guys later, so, bye. Hey, so I'm gonna drive and talk today, not because I'm running out of time or anything like that, but I kinda just wanna get home to my kids. <laughs> so, we're gonna do the driving, talking thing today. I'm gonna try to keep it brief, though. So, Jay did not go as I expected it to go, but that's okay. Um, you have to be willing to work with things, even as, you know, just a person doing observation hours, you have to kind of roll with the punches, and that's okay. So, I was thinking that I was going to be spending my morning mostly um, help proctoring the SAGE test for a couple of our students, um, but their SAGE testing system was down, and so I ended up doing fluency tests with some of the lower readers in the classroom because they're doing their dibbles this Friday. So to just make sure that they're like on point or as on point as they can be, we went ahead and... Oh, sorry. I tested their fluency. I'm gonna do that again tomorrow morning, probably. And then it was reading group. The reading group was okay today. There's a lot of distractions. I I fear that the book, we're reading Shiloh, and the way that it's written would be like the way that you talk, like just even like in not like normal English, it's kind of like, it's not Southern, but it's kind of Southern like language. And, and so like it's harder for the kids to like read out loud. Oh, there is a little doggy just walking around. He should have stopped. But I have to get home. 
Um, so, they're kind of having a hard time reading that out loud and just kind of staying focused. There's a lot of giggles and stuff like that. One of the students was removed from my reading group and put into a higher level reading group, hoping that since he'd have to leave the classroom to go to this reading group, that he would actually participate. Because um, we've tried everything that we can on our end, so we're, we're doing everything we can here. My husband just messaged me letting me know that he has a team meeting today. So, did that. Um, and then recess, I was trying to reteach math, but one of the students, I only had two students, one of them seemed like they would be focused and do it, but the other is just in a mood today, did not want to focus, didn't want to do anything, was counterdicting, like I had to, in a way, fight with them. That the fact that 30 minus 25 is not 10, it's five. Like, that's, it was like pulling teeth. It was awful. And I worked with her earlier in the morning and she was just, like, I think she's just having a hard day. She's an off day. So, I'll end up doing that again tomorrow. And it's like area and perimeter and it's, it's hard doing the reteaching when you don't know how they learned it in the first place because the way I learned doing it could be completely different from what they learn now. So what I need to do is I need to go through the teacher manual to go math tomorrow morning and see exactly how it was taught so I know how to better help them. Because today I feel like I was kind of, oh, sorry, thrown into it. And then after recess, I took a few students down to do the read to do the um, writing, uh, so, because the SAGE testing was back up, and then I ended up having to go home. So it was a really good day. Um, it was it kept me busy, and that's what I needed. I needed to be busy, especially, I mentioned this before, before school, like I'm having such a hard time with work, and I totally, I, kind of fell apart in front of the teacher today um, telling her that I'm just so anxious and I feel so sick all the time when I have to work and I'm getting depressed and I turned to her and I'm like I just want to say thank you because allowing me to come into the classroom for just that few hours in the morning and letting me work with the students and interact with the students and interact with her it brings me out for just a few hours and makes me feel normal again. So, and it's really sad that I have to, I have to do the job, like I have to, and it, the way that it makes me feel, but it's nice that I know that at least four times a week for just a few hours, I can feel normal again for just a few hours before I go home and I feel like the world comes crashing back down on me. So, but we'll get through it. I'll get through it. I'll finish my degree and I'll be in a classroom. I also talked to, before school started, I talked to my mentor and just had a really nice conversation with her and she wants me to tell her all about the um, interview that I'm doing next week and just, She's really proud of me. Like, she's she was totally building me up and just, she was so proud of me. And I was telling her how I was sitting at the desk putting contact paper on the books that I had purchased from my classroom library. And she joked with me, she's like, you have found your niche. She's like, you are where you're supposed to be. And I am, like when I'm in the school and when I'm in the classroom with kids, I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And it'll just be, it's, it's just a nice feeling, finding what you're supposed to do in life. So, I can't wait till I do it full time. But I will talk to you guys later. I am almost home. I'm going to spend some time with my kids before I take my one son to school this today. And I will talk to you guys later. everyone so today is April 19th and it is my last day here this week 
and it's also my last day of work this week. I'm really excited. Um, because tomorrow's my son's final derby, so I'm not working. And I also work at a daycare type place two days a week for a free gym membership, which I do not use. Yeah. But I can't quit because I feel like they need me. So I just keep going. Yeah. That's how that works. Um... I just had to say that yesterday at work was a good day. This week has been a lot of me being depressed and down and upset because work has been horrible. But last night was actually a decent day. So I just wanted to say that, let you guys know I do have decent days. Um, I've just been really down lately and yesterday was a good day. I only had to send out two technicians. Uh, so like I said, it was a good day. It was a good day. So here I am at the school, I'm about to go in. I have no idea what I'm doing today. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go do more sage testing stuff. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. And I don't care, I just wanna be in there with the kids. Um, if I'm not doing sage testing, I'll be testing for fluency, for reading passage, cause their Dibbles test is tomorrow. And I'll also be doing some like reteaching for math. So, and hopefully that goes over much better than it did yesterday because yesterday was horrible. Um, it was just bad. So, I'm hoping to, I'm going to probably take a look at the book to see how it was taught. See if I'm even teaching it to them right so that they can understand it. Because I feel like they just weren't understanding and that they're not going to pass this test again. So I'll have to look into that. But I'm going to go ahead and head on in and get the day going. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright, and that's a wrap for week. I don't even know what week this is. Uh, it's either 10 or 11. I can't remember. But that is a wrap. So I'm just gonna close this out really, really fast here because I need to get home because my husband has his, like in his one-on-one -on -one right now with his boss. He's like, has a day full of meetings. So I'm gonna wrap this up. But I just wanna say it was a good day today. Uh, so it was a sub at the beginning of the day. I totally forgot that that was gonna happen. And it was kind of fun for me because the sub kind of just sat there and didn't do anything. And so I kind of had to take the initiative and like get the students on track and getting them to do what they needed to do. And then I was pulling students out and stuff like that. So I was, I had to go through and do all of that. And so that was fun for me to like, it wasn't necessarily whole class instruction, but it was me kind of just taking the role and seeing that I was able to get the class to be quiet and to get them to do what I needed them to do and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed that. So it was only, you know, not very long, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and then it was reading group. We had another discussion about being kind to each other. Sorry, I'm like distracted. I'm all over the place today. We had another talk about being kind to each other because while it's really important to get through the book and to read and to improve on our reading skills, it's also really important for these students to learn about being kind to each other and to learn that, you know, they may not mean to offend or hurt somebody's feelings, but they can do it without meaning to, and so they should just own up to it, say sorry, and everyone should move on. I just, I have a few people in my group that kind of dwell on feeling sorry for themselves. Um, and so we're working on it. We'll get through it. My battery is going to die, so I'm going to wrap this up here really quick. Then I went out for recess where I talked to a student teacher who's actually almost done, and it sounds like he's pretty sure he might be getting a job at the school that my kids are actually teaching at. And I told him, I was like, yeah, I was like, I've been like approached um, by the principal about possibly doing student teaching and applying for jobs there. I'm like, I just, it wouldn't work very well for me. And it's like, so I'm not gonna do it. So I'm excited for him because he said that it is the kind of school that like that structured 
that's what he thrives on and as like a teacher and stuff like that so it works great for some people not for me that's okay and I could do kind of a whole different maybe I'll do a whole sit down about that like different schools and really as a teacher finding the school that would work best for you and knowing yourself and what your teaching styles are even before you kind of go into student teaching and stuff like that just knowing who you are and trying to incorporate that into your student teaching or what I'm hoping to incorporate into my student teaching and stuff like that so but I'm gonna head out after Really quick after recess, we were doing some group work. So I was, I worked with two of the groups in the classroom about nouns, adjectives, and verbs, and stuff like that, um, because they're getting ready for their SAGE test on that next, I think it's next week, or the week after, I can't remember. It's soon, but they were working on that. So, and that was about it. But I'm gonna let you guys go. I will see you guys next week and have a wonderful week and enjoy yourself. And again, if you guys have any questions or, want to comment on these videos please do and please give us a thumbs up if you like it and also hit that subscribe button i'm trying to, like i said we're trying to build this community and not gonna lie it would be it would be nice to earn an income i'll be small off of this channel um and it is a goal of mine i'm not gonna lie to you and say it's not a goal of mine it is a goal of mine but it's mostly a goal of mine because i want to take what i earn from this channel because it is primarily about teaching and that kind of thing and i want to put that income towards my classroom and give just give it back to the students and so that's why it's my goal honest like honest that is why it's my goal to earn an income off of this so i don't have to use the money that i'm getting while teaching to put into my classroom i would rather use this income if I can ever get an income off of this and put it into the classroom so please subscribe to the channel if you want to get notifications press that bell and I will talk to you guys next week